Hey everybody, I know that uh, getting leads uh, for your real estate deals, motivated seller leads to your website, motivated sellers to um, respond to postcards, mailing letters, marketing, marketing, marketing is always a hot topic. And I know a lot of you um, guys and gals have done pretty well with postcards, bandit signs, yellow letters, physical paper, paper type marketing, but a lot of you haven't mastered um, the online world and the SEO game, the search engine optimization, or even you know pay-per-click for that matter. And I really feel like the more and more and more that people become connected to their phones, um, the more and more leads are going to come from phones and come from websites, web-friendly websites, and people just uh, clicking. Uh, online and so I think it's important that you begin establishing a presence now rather than later before you're too far behind the curve and so I know there's a lot of debate what's most effective pay-per-click SEO you know what's most effective so I say you do both I say you work on both at the same time and in order to help you further your SEO Part of the game, your search engine optimization. I've invited on a friend of mine, previous student, real estate investor, and internet marketer, Jamie Boudreau. Jamie, you there? I'm here, Brent. All right. So Jamie's camera's not working, so you can't see his beautiful uh, face today. But Good for you. <laughs> but um, his. Uh, Camera is or his video screen is working. So what I'm going to do in just a minute is uh, hand over the controls to Jamie, and he's going to go into uh, some of the characteristics of a, characteristics of an SEO friendly website. Okay, he's pulled just randomly pulled up uh, a website that he felt was was pretty squared away in the world of uh, real estate investing, attracting. Uh, motivated sellers motivated sellers because I feel it's very important to strategically um, strategically place your your inner your marketing your website to a specific target and that's the reason why we've got a specific website uh, attracting motivated sellers and we've got a specific website for private lenders we want to keep those separated we don't want to confuse the customer Okay, if we, we're spending time, effort, and energy to attract someone to our website for a specific purpose. Um, for example, today we'll be talking about motivated sellers. We want to make sure that we're speaking to their problem and their issue. And so that what we're going over on that website, when they come there, like they're finding a solution for them. So most likely they're going to call us. So I'm going to turn these controls over to you so you can share your screen. And, uh, and we can look at, uh, at some of these characteristics of an SEO friendly website and how um, those that are watching this today can learn how to crush it as well with their, their web marketing. Okay, sounds good. Um, the website I picked here is one that's, I feel is probably the best one in, in the market that we're in here in Houston. Um, it shows up. Um, in the top three, four results for a lot of the uh, high traffic search terms. And as you can see, it's Center Homes right here. Um, and right away, um, you see the branding. And so in, in English speaking countries, especially here in the US, uh, we read left to right. So when you look at the left side of the website, you see their brand, boom, Center Home Buyers. And as we go to the right, we have a, a little call to action here. We have their phone number. Um, this up here is, is not the best thing. It doesn't hurt, but it, it, it's fine. Um, and you see they identify where they're serving, greater Houston area. Yeah, and um, I know, like, just, I know just right from the very beginning, like, it seems so simple, but having the phone number big and bold at the top is incredibly important. That's a little change that we've made to all of our websites. And... You've ever, you know, some of you watching, you've probably been to a website where you're searching and searching and searching, like, how can I contact these people? And you can't find them. It's really hard to find versus big and bold on every page is 
most ideal, in my opinion. I don't know what you think about that, but I like no, make it easy. Yeah, make it easy. Don't make them work when they get to your site. Just make them, I mean, settle in and stick around for a while. And having your number there is just, it's it's common sense, but it's not really common practice. Just make it easy for your, for your clients, for your customers. Tell them who you are. Tell them how to get in touch with you, number one. And they've done it beautifully. Um, as we move down, and I'm just going to go into what it looks like right now. We see a happy couple looking at you. Um, that's engagement, which is what you want. Uh, they can do it better, but this is not bad at all. A um, little contact form here, so more engagement, and you may be collecting uh, or building up your list with this. So you want all of this. What are your What are your thoughts on the generic kind of pictures like they've used versus like? Boo, boo. You want real pictures as much as you can get. Either to me, this should be them looking at you straight away because everyone knows this is a canned picture. You can yep. go and get this on Google right now. Yeah. Or, or videos are even better. And video with you or whoever you choose looking at the camera and telling people why they should be doing business with you. You yeah. want engagement right off the bat. That does a number of things for conversion and also for optimization. The longer someone's on your site, the more things they click, the more Google thinks you're relevant, and it's all good. Yeah. And as we move down, I'm just going to scroll through and you see you have a lot of, uh, well, you can't see now, but text here, another little contact form here, and more text, pictures of them. But they have a lot of content on this front page. And I've checked it out in one of our tools, and it's highly, highly relevant to what they're trying to do. So, that, so they're that's a benefit. The amount of content they have, you think, is, is a positive. Oh, Google loves a thousand words or more. You don't have to have a thousand, but the more relevant, um, keyword relevant content you have on a page, the better for Google to know what you're about. And also, you know, if it converts, all the better. So it pays the higher good copywriter also. Mm -hmm. uh, as we go down, uh, we have some more engagement here. I get an offer, telling people what to do. You don't have want them to guess. Um, and here you have some common problems, people, why people might want to get rid of their house, all stuff you guys know already, another contact form. So they're giving you multiple opportunities to do business with them, which is very good. Uh, let's see. If you are in, don't worry, call us again. So it's pretty much nonstop call us, we can help, call us, we can help. And then a very friendly picture here of these guys. Yeah. Uh, the one thing they didn't do is they didn't tag this, which is something you, you do behind the scenes to like Google. Uh, know even more how relevant this picture is, like keyword tagging and geotagging. Gotcha. But that's a little deeper stuff. Um, and this I don't agree with because this is this is a house they fixed up and sold. This is not someone who's looking, who's in distress and trying to sell their house. Yeah, I agree. But hey, it, they rank all over page one for a bunch of terms, so who knows? Yeah. I, I don't think this helps their conversions, to be honest. Yeah, like I, what I like for a picture in that instance is a before and after right next to each other um, because we've, we've met a lot of sellers and their home, like they really actually, I mean, they really care about what's going to happen with their house. Not all of them, but some of them, they, they really do care, like who's going to take the best care of my property. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, I agree. Like, I would change that picture. Yeah. There's a few things I would change about the site and, and the page, but they're doing a lot right. So, yeah, I'm not going to throw stones at them. Uh, let's see. As we move down here, um, some more keywords. We buy houses as is, where it is. These are keywords. They researched this. Or whoever's done this has researched it. So this isn't by accident. And there's another way to contact them. And as you move down, I mean, more engagement, all the time engagement, and finally we get to a video. Mm -hmm. I would have something like this near the top, to be honest, but like I say, they're ranking tops for a lot of stuff, so they're doing okay. Yeah. Testimonials right here. You love that. Um, and what this is doing is keeping people on your page, which helps for ranking. I'm not saying it helps for conversion, but it can, but it definitely helps for ranking. And you also want your name, address, and phone number, and other ways they can contact you all the way at the bottom. Yeah. So they, they put, someone's put a lot of work into this website. It's uh, very evident to me. Very cool. So what about some of the other pages? 
let's see here. We buy houses. Again, this is keyword research. And when you click on this, you see up here, and this is a little deeper in the SEO weeds. But all you want your website to do is tell Google what you're about. Mm -hmm. And when Google sends, some, sends someone there, Google wants to know that you're providing value. So this is very specific stuff here. We buy houses. So if someone types this term in to Google and you've done your SEO correctly, this page is going to come up. Or even their home page, because that's on the home page too. Mm -hmm. And again, we go with the engagement. Uh, we have the candy picture of the house. I mean, Grant and I agree we don't like that. Something, um, an actual picture you took mm -hmm. would be better. Mm -hmm. But they have their contact form here. So, I mean, as I say, they do many things right and they do it often. So, mm -hmm. kudos to them. Uh, let's see what else here. I can, I can maybe stop praising them and see if I can say something bad about them here. Nope, that one's done right too. Sell house fast. That's also a very valuable keyword and highly searched. Uh, let's see. So that's pretty much what here. Brad mentioned this in the beginning. Maybe got me thinking. You don't want yes messages here. Yeah. You may be on your website. Yes. You want to see them focused on house. their problems and not you know checking around at what you're going to do with their house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So not perfect, but very good. They're doing well. I agree. Um, services here, you always want a services tab. I mean, people aren't really going to be typing in divorce and thinking of selling their home. Mm -hmm. But once they get to your site, this is more engagement. And this is yeah. more. Yeah. And I see here investors too, so I would lose these two for sure. Yeah, I agree. You can even, you can even have that um, as a non-menu item. If you just want to do one website, and then you could set it to where no one would be able to navigate to it, but you could do your keyword selection correctly, and people would be able to click on it just from looking at Google. Hmm. Am I making myself clear with that? Yeah. So I think, yeah. So to me, it's like you would essentially hide the investor and use some private lenders tab. Um, so it's not visible to the public, but it may still help you get some search engine traffic. Cause like if, if, a so that's why we set our sub separately with, you know, a, a site for sellers, motivated sellers and a site for investors. But what we like is like, we don't mind the, you know, private lender seeing our, our motivated seller page. Cause it's, it's good for credibility. Mm -hmm. but, if they're interested, if a private lender is interested in private lenders um, and private lending, we don't want them getting caught up in selling a house due to divorce or other things. Like we want to satisfy, you know, what they've came to the site for. And so that's why we have a site that just does nothing but educates them on private lending. And then the same thing with the motivated seller is they come to the site because they're going through a divorce or loss of a loved one or whatever, you know, foreclosure. Like we want to be able to give them as much information as we can about that, not getting them mixed up and caught up in Houston private lenders and stuff like that. Exactly. And you can even, if you're you know, really going to go after it, is build this type as, this as, as like an authority site, and you can just do one keyword class. Like Houston house buyers, and just that would be your site. You pick a few more, a few more, because you could have another listing on this page. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So here's the kind of home buyers right here, and the search is sell my house fast, Houston. So if you could some way make a website this in your URL or your title, you could rank. In this search, this too. So you have this property to be clicking on, and you have this property. Mm -hmm. But that's that's more down the line. If you you know, if you've already got your authority site doing well, and you want to get even more leads and more positions on the home page, on the first page, mm -hmm. that's definitely an option you can do. It. I'm not saying anything in this niche, but it's done quite often to good effect. 
cool, man. Well, anything else you want to share that's maybe not on the um, in general? Um, on page, I think when you found this site, you get to know a lot more about it. I mean, it's visually pleasing. Yeah, I've shown that it's SEO collected because they've been acute to research. Um, and everything else is kind of enough. So if you want to go a little further, maybe discuss some off page type stuff, but I don't think it's kind of what you want to do. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Um, appreciate you sharing everything with everybody. Do you, uh, you want to tell, just tell everybody watching a little bit about, um, you know, what you do and how you could help them out if, uh, if they're interested in, um, you know, just getting some help with, with either you build websites or, you know, just tell them a little bit about your services and what you do. Okay. Um, well, my company is Boudreaux Marketing. Um, my website is BoudreauxSolutions.com. You have to be on the screen. Yeah, and I'll, I will post that on here. Excellent. Excellent. Um, my focus is SEO, so and, and specifically local SEO. And so I know how to focus in and, and key in on keyword terms, do the research, break down the competition, and I know I can find out exactly what it takes to bring So that's... That's what I'm specializing in. As for building websites, personally, I hate it, but I have a guy, of course, who, who does it. And actually, he's familiar with SEO, so if he builds your site and he does it for me, it's SEO correctly from his standpoint and from my standpoint. Yeah. Um, we build social properties. Like, we can actually. I, it's uh, like me and real estate. Personally, I hate doing construction physically. Yeah, I got guys and they do that. So it's the same thing. It's uh, you they can leverage your your um your team and your expertise and, and your um, network to uh, help them get websites put together and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would encourage you to look at your website as an asset, not just an online calling card. Make it something besides just something you paid a thousand, two thousand dollars for that sits there. And they only know how to find you if they type your name in. I mean, I don't think people really. Well, I can show you. Well, actually, I can't. I don't have the screen anymore. Can you get back for a second, Brent? Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it mine? Yeah, but hold on a second. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So here's the Google keyword. Anyone with a Gmail account can pull this up, and this is just Houston, and this is just some of the terms. So we might have this Houston. Uh, a thousand people are going to push with this. This is a paper clip. And this is all average. It changes daily, and it definitely changes monthly. But I've been watching this for a while, and it pretty much covers around a thousand a month. Sell house fast, Houston, three ninety a month. It averages um, and on down the list. And these aren't all the keywords by any stretch of the imagination. And I added them up, and that's 2,380 seconds a month. And trust me, there are a lot more searches related to this stuff. So if your website isn't optimized for this, then you're missing out on tons of traffic. I mean, I used to do a little bit of wholesale, I sent out many, many postcards. And I can tell you, it's, it's a shotgun approach. This is more like a sniper rifle. And these are getting your customers when they're looking for you. But, to me, it's a better quality lead. And once you have that asset in place, the website that's SSO properly, and hopefully you have some conversion stuff on it, then you have an asset possible for that, that you could generate your income almost on all time. Anyway. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you hopping on, and uh, I will uh, be posting your uh, your website. Boudreaux Solutions on here so people can uh, can reach out and, and contact you directly if they need your help. And for those of you watching this as well, this this and other real estate training is what we cover in the F7X Factor. And I'll post a link for that for the F7XFactor.com where we go through all the seven fundamentals of successfully investing in real estate in a group training format um, similar to what you saw just here. 
So, man, Jamie, thanks a lot, and uh, appreciate everybody for uh, watching uh, this video, and hopefully this helps you out with uh, your real estate investing uh, marketing. Thank you. Thank you, man.